Hi everybody, I'm Jedi Master RD and, and TI-18623. This is a review video of my Husqvarna uh, ZTR-254F Special Edition model uh, mower. Uh, really nice. Uh, it's got a 54 inch deck, that's why it's got 54 in the model number. <laughs> I'm still looking for this, the uh, the product sticker. That's <laughs> fucking... It's registered at where I bought it from, but uh, I would like to register it on the app. So, um, anyways, 54 inch deck. So it's got one, two, three blades on it. Uh, two caster wheels up front. You know your usual casters. These got these got grease zerks on them. So one here, one here. Okay. Uh, this seat is adjustable, and I actually fixed the parking brake on this mower too yesterday. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did. But before we get that, let's just give you some details of the mower, shall we? Uh, that's a washout port right there. This mower has right around three hours of use on it. Uh, this drops your deck up and down. Okay. Uh, the highest is six, but that's plenty of height to get it on your trailer. Uh, okay. Got a cup holder, place to put your phone. Okay, look, don't put your phone here because there's no way to keep it cool there's no cover to put it over so don't put your phone in here because your phone's going to get mega hot and make a quick out in the heat of day don't put your phone here i've even seen mowers i was looking at some skags when i was looking for some mowers and they had like usb ports for charging your phone i'm like where are you gonna where are you gonna keep where are you gonna keep it cool at see exactly so how's it gonna stay cool it's it's common sense guys really it's common sense okay uh, so this mower has hydro gears. Two hydro gears, because, well, you got to have two hydro gears, so it's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that. That one's only got one big one. Uh, this one's got two hydro gears. These are, these are sealed. These are completely sealed hydro gears. Um, this is, this is powered by the Kawasaki FR691V V-twin engine. I think it's cranked out around 23 to 24 horsepower. Plenty of power, lots of torque to drive this 54 inch deck. I like how Husqvarna picks good engines. Now, I wish it was a brig motor. <laughs> I wish it was a brig motor, but you gotta take what you're gonna get right. Uh, there's two versions of there's a 48 inch, and then there's the uh, 50, 50, uh, 54 inch. And uh, these two have the um, have, have the Kawasaki engines. This one's the, the 24 horsepower one, and the other one is the 22 horsepower one I think so you're, you're only losing a little bit of torque and a little bit of power um, uh, Let's see what else is yeah, That's just your ID tech. Okay, so you got your gas tank here throttle choke our me has got three point something hours on it uh, It's actually key for light No, there's no light in the front, but you can't add it on to it's like 60 something bucks, but I'm like uh, Okay, maybe one day uh, electric clutch button uses your PTO button. Uh, the seat lifts up with ease and it stops right there. Uh, safety switch here when you sit on it. <laughs> oh, battery down there. All right, now I'm going to tell you what I did with the parking brake. Okay, so I'm going to lift the seat back, put it against my head. Okay, so this side here doesn't really do anything you have to do it on both sides watch see now it drops okay all right and then you have to bring this one back a little bit all right so what I did was I took these two rods here this rod here was down one hole this rod here was down the other hole so they're individually hold and I put it right where it's supposed to be Fixed it yesterday, and now it unlocks as it should. So, uh, so guys, um, you got your first two holes here. You got one, and then you got two. So, if you have a brand new mower like this, and it isn't in the right hole, put this rod on the right here, and the one on the left, um, right there underneath that hole. So, see, mine's marked. So, this bar goes down here, and this bar goes up here. That's where it should be. So if you're having problems with it delatching, um, or delocking or unlocking, um, that's how you fix that. Piece of cake. Okay. 
okay, so we got a belt tensioner down here. I'm guessing that is for the uh, uh, hydro gears. Yeah. Yep. That's for the hydro gear, I guess. For tension. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, this actually does come off. Let's look underneath Big Beastie, huh? Yeah! See? Big, heavy-duty blades. I like spindles that are this big. I love tanky stuff. And uh, you can put a blower attachment, uh, excuse me, you can put a vacuum attachment on it if you wanted to. Uh, I think you can. It's called a bagger, excuse me, a bagger attachment. And it would mount all the way back here. There's there's two holes for that. Um, I'd like to see if I can put a bracket back here and put a ball hitch on it. Because um, my other mower had that hole on it. Guys, the reason why I bought, a, bought this one instead of the Craftsman, I did buy the Craftsman. I ended up returning a few weeks later. Don't buy a Craftsman ZTR, and I'll tell you why. Because it's a piece of junk. You know, it's got a good engine in it. A good engine, good transmission. When I started leaking, I just like, okay. I'm not waiting for the warranty. I got yards. I got to take care of stuff. So, yeah. Okay. But, uh, oh, yeah. This is a nice mower. Uh, the seat does have upgrades. Uh, the seat can be upgraded. Um, uh, there's a hole here for armrests. So the armrests are optional. But guys, look, um, if you want to have armrests and just chill out and get kind of lazy, <laughs> uh, this is where they would go. You just cut out this little hole. There's a little hole here. You just then screw them in. You're done. Okay. Uh, piece of cake. Um, like I said, I got a cup holder here. Let me show you where your light would go. So you got your big old H with a crown on top of it. And then this is where your light bar would go. It would go right in here. And I think this would be a good spot for it. Uh, these wheels are holding air. I don't know why people have so many complaints about this mower. I've seen them online on YouTube and, well, well, uh, that happens right so but uh, this this engine is really awesome I will excuse me <laughs> this mower is really awesome so you here's your scalp wheels down here uh, guys these do not need to be greased if you want to grease them you can uh, but not required uh, there's no grease circs if you want to grease the shaft you got to take the bolt off right there and then just grease the shaft up that's it. And then put your scalp, anti-scalp wheels on it. That, that's it, basically. But why would you want to do that? They're not made to do that. I always wanted a nice brand new mower. I finally got one I ain't going to break. Only on the first few tries. I like to take my mower to the gas station sometimes. You know, it's cheaper to drive your mower than, than it is driving your vehicle. You know. See, there it is. Z254F's special edition, right? All right. Oh, yeah, let me show you this cover. Let me, let me show you this cover right quick. It don't take much. It just unscrews. See, there you go. It even shows you the service chart. on the... So, isn't that gnarly, huh? Really cool, right? So, it's basically another Dixon. That's all it is. It's basically another Dixon. Um, just built better. <laughs> uh, Dixon got bought out by Husqvarna a number of years ago. I finally got my grandfather's mower in 2016. I have a video of it on Google somewhere. Um, I even got pictures of it still. Um, I'll show you a picture of it here. And uh, it, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It was a Dixon 4515B 50 inch cut anniversary edition. It was like made in 2000, 2001. Had the hydro gear transmissions on it. Didn't have the uh, friction drive on it. I think there was a model of it that did have the friction drive on it. But uh, what I mean by friction drive is you got a 
you got a plate cone here, cone here, and you had a cone here, and there's a pulley that spins, and then you move the, and that's how it would go forward, back, left, right, do donuts, have some fun. And, they, and it had chains on this side and this side, but this is not a Dixon. I'm just pointing as to where they would be at. And it had a uh, 15 horsepower Briggs and Stratton first generation Vanguard motor on one big gigantic piston doing all the work. And I think it had like a two and a half gallon tank on it. Uh, it was my first ZTR mower. I miss it so much. I would love to get another Dixon that's identical to it. I found one, but um, needs a lot of work. <laughs> and I have nowhere to put it if I was to go get it. So, <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. These can be adjusted. Uh, you got your, uh, this adjusts. So you got turtle. No, you got rabbit and turtle. So fast, slow. You can adjust this. And, well, this actually uh, allows you to go a little bit quicker if you wanted to. A max top speed is 6.5 miles an hour. Now, that's pretty darn quick <laughs> for a, um, a mower that's got a little bit of commercial and residential into, into it. So I like mowers that have a little bit of everything. That way you're not spending a ton of money and you're not spending not enough money. You're, you're spending right in the sweet spot. I love sweet spot. Like, I'm a PC gamer, so I like to have... A little bit of everything, but on a budget. Works. All right, guys. That's about it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I know it's dirty. It's dirty. But, uh, but hey. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this uh, video of this review. Uh, I do plan on making another uh, video on this mower. I'm going to get more hours on it. We'll call it around 10, 10 hours. That sounds fair. I uh, don't know how long that's going to be. <laughs> but uh, I'll give y'all like a 10 hour uh, review video on it. Well, anyway, may the force be with you always. I'm Jedi Master RD and NTI18623 coming back at you again on YouTube. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.